The L100 wind turbine is the flagship model in the latest generation of wind turbines by Lachave Wind. Equipped with the latest technologies, including Lachave's own direct drive generator, this turbine is ready for the future. Cost reduction and simplicity were the drivers in the development of this multi-megawatt wind turbine. With more than 35 years of experience and more than 1,200 wind turbines installed worldwide, Lachave builds upon great expertise. The L100 generator is therefore built completely by in-house engineers. After eight months of producing and purchasing parts, the entire turbine can be installed on location in no less than 15 days. The great list of key features of the L100 with 135 meters hub height starts with the foundation. Because of the large tower diameter at the bottom and its resulting efficient force distribution, the foundation can be kept relatively small. This mainly saves a lot of concrete and rebar, but also serves to provide an elegant integration into the landscape. The 135 meter high tower is constructed with steel plates. Not only does this provide high stiffness, it also serves for easy installation. A conventional concrete tower would need up to 200 truckloads of concrete slabs. This steel tower is brought onto the location in no more than 19 frames with steel plates. This high efficiency brings great cost reduction. This cost reduction even continues after its operational period. A conventional concrete tower usually requires expensive demolition and disposal, whereas a steel tower can easily be deconstructed and recycled. This means a significantly higher salvage value. After climbing the external stairs, you will find yourself on the tower base platform. This is where the grid inverters are situated. These devices convert the alternating current with random frequency into alternating current with a fixed frequency so that it can be transported to the main power grid. These grid inverters are a standard product by ABB, an internationally acclaimed producer of high-grade electronics. On this level, you will also find a control panel. This device displays real-time settings, technical data and performance data. Thanks to the hollow tower, all maintenance can be performed from within the structure. To perform maintenance on the nacelle or one of its components, service personnel can easily go up with the service elevator. The elevator uses the emergency stairs to climb up the entire length of the tower. This saves valuable space and provides great stability. In case of an emergency, personnel can still use the ladder and climb through the elevator's retractable floor and roof. An important safety feature. After a ride of approximately eight minutes, plus a short climb, you are on the highest platform. This is where the yaw bearing is continually lubricated with an automatic lubrication system. The grease overflow containers ensure a clean and optimal operation. One level higher and you will be in the nacelle. The nacelle can be kept very compact thanks to the design of the direct drive generator. There is no big gearbox, complicated cooling system or high voltage power transformer in this nacelle. Just six very reliable yaw motors which constantly turn the nacelle with its rotor facing the wind. These motors also deal with the great forces the rotor has to endure due to the turbulent wind. A control panel, much like the one downstairs, takes care of accurately displaying parameters and statistics as well as providing control of vital operating functions during maintenance. The main bearing, in which the entire rotor and generator are mounted, is a custom design on which a lot of attention has been spent. Years of experience have brought the engineers to an optimal design of two lubricated bearings inside a single housing. This design provides excellent force distribution, correct lubrication and a long lifespan. The most important component of the turbine is held by the main bearing, the generator. The rotor is directly mounted onto the generator, automatically synchronizing the speed of both devices. The generator is completely sealed from its environment. This makes it withstand extreme conditions. And thanks to the lack of a gearbox and accompanying oil lubrication system, this generator easily handles very cold weather conditions. The relatively small energy losses, which is made possible through its very efficient design, are converted into heat. This heat is efficiently dissipated to the outside air through the cooling fins around the perimeter of the generator. More wind 
means more power. With apart heat, more wind also provides better heat dissipation through the fins. These processes go together. It ensures reliable and constant operating temperatures. The front section of the hub houses the electronic blade pitch control system. One AC motor per blade constantly controls the pitch to ensure optimal production at all wind speeds. A DC motor with battery serves as a backup. These motors can turn the blade into a safe position in case of a power outage. The status of the batteries and safety system is closely monitored by the central computer. Safety first. Lightning strikes are a realistic risk factor for structures this high. That's why the entire nacelle is surrounded by a Faraday cage. This provides extra protection for internal components and service personnel in case of a lightning strike. The blades are equipped with lightning conductors that safely guide the lightning through the foundation into the ground without causing any significant damage to the components. Lightning rods are mounted on top of the nacelle to protect the important wind direction and wind speed meters. Now you see that safety, reliability, efficiency and simplicity are the core values on which the L100 wind turbine of Lachave Wind is built.